appreciate everybody for tuning in to the nation as we take a deeper look at of course we already know demarcus lawrence we're going to look at film remember when i say this a lot of times stats are like empty calories right it really don't count towards anything but you got to really look at stats sometimes and see what the ingredients are so you can trust what you're eating right so you can make sure uh that you're just not being misguided per se so we look at stats for reference points but we still look at the film to see what can uh what the stats say let's do some verification i trust what the stats say but let's verify all right so we're going to look at carson wentz i'll be crazy to say that he's trash or anything of that nature right carson wentz his strong suit he gets the ball out quick got a great delivery of the ball pass with great accuracy and as you can see <laughs> just 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 a dime right there getting the ball out quick is his game and and i and i like his skill set to me personally uh carson just can't stay healthy he's a bigger stronger to me tony romo he can throw the ball with great anticipations watch get the ball out this ball is going to be released he's going to fake like he's looking to this way but he's already know where he's going with this ball that's anticipation guys <laughs> now i'm always going to be fair and balanced when we look at this film so you guys i'm going to show you all of the good plays that carson wentz were able to do and this is a 15 yard pass to the tight end anticipation is his game but how do you throw off that anticipation quarterback pressure yeah <laughs> uh taking away his good reads and when you can do that then you will see some more turnovers takeaways and things of that nature yes we are live like 95 matty b and this is a great throw by by carson there's no <laughs> no way for me to lie to you all and uh good good rush up the side with uh d law and we're gonna go into d law's uh skill set and and like i said throw the ball with great anticipation i'm showing you guys these plays because i want people to understand that a lot of times when you get that ball out quick and when you have the ability to throw with those type of anticipations already knowing where you're going to go with the ball it's a plus and then that's what he uh delivers and that's what he brings to the table now when you take away that anticipation and you can still create pressure and bring uh other things as it relates to coverage then this is when carson folds up like lawn chairs this is when he begins to give the ball away to the opposition so we're going to look at this too uh there was another play that i didn't put out there it was a fumble that he had uh, occurred in this game but when you take away his strongest suit then you you see this uh his weaknesses there and do he have the abilities and the chance to to develop down the line yes you know young quarterback so let's talk about demarcus lawrence let's talk about this uh los remember this is an imaginary line that goes all the way around the world and the name of the game is for as far as the defensive edge rush is to secure everything on this edge right here and also crash up field and get to the quarterback now it depends on the type of uh, rush pursuit that is given but d law does more than just sacked <laughs> he, he's also disruptive and as we can see right here he's way in the backfield Carson Wentz did a Houdini trick he got the ball <laughs> he got the ball right here and he's going to roll out this way but guess what the pursuit the chase of everything is like a, a an animal that that, that can smell the blood <laughs> and, and he's going to get him for uh, m maybe a minimum of game of one yard crucial play I think it was a third down play off of this drive right here and he's still able the defense did a good job of coverage but they wasn't food to this play into the inside because he was still able to crash a field disengage and man that's a tackle guys that's good and uh remember imaginary line that wraps around the world we want to see what d law can do off of that edge and heavy pursuit he's going to be able to disengage and this is a fourth and one play. So this is a crucial play for the filthy Philadelphia Eagles. I meant to say part of the language. <laughs> He's able to get them down, Cowboy Nation. And, and that's what you want out of your, your edge rusher. Not just to get sacks. A lot of times what people would do is that. Let's, let's, let's pull up the big board. 
before I dive into this play a little bit further, we'll pull up the big board. And this is all around the uh, the Philadelphia Eagles um, news letterhead. And, and this is what they're saying. They're saying that uh, pretty much D-Law never had a sack against against them. You know, pretty much zero against the Eagles. And uh, to me personally, yeah, that's cool and all. But if you look at everything, and they were talking about the, the Cowboys made it to Marcus Lawrence, one of the highest paid defensive end in the NFL, giving him 105 with $65 million guaranteed. Lawrence's contract may be the highest, but his production is more than justified after totaling 24.5 sacks, right? But they were trying to pretty much say that uh, he's a non-factor against the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, Lane Johnson, uh, he replied with a question mark. Well, with a, with a, with a man posing, uh, is pondering and thinking. But I guarantee you, my bottom dollar, he would never say a word to D. Law out there on the field because he knows, <laughs> he knows what the battlefield is when he plays against Demarcus Lawrence. But this is what it says right here. So let's go back to the film, and I really appreciate each and every last one of you all for being late. <laughs> late late night grinders just like me but all right we're gonna look at this film where's d law lined up right now oh who, 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 who's who's this right here it's 65 right here this is the guy with the pondering face right let's see what happened off of this drive it's a crucial drive remember fourth and one <laughs> ronnie said cry eagles cry look this is 65 watch how he disengage huh Huh. Turnovers on down. That's what you have to do in the National Football League. It's more to just getting sacks. And when you win and you beat your guy, a lot of times, look, this is Carson Wentz, one of his strong suits. He's going to evade the rush and he's going to get up here and they still get only a negative yard for zero gain. This is what the, uh, the stat sheet says. But guess who was there? Now, I must admit, Wentz is a big boy, but that would count as a sack if he would have went down right here. So to me personally, would you rather have the sack? Yes, but would you rather get this stop right here? And who stopped him? D-Law. But remember, empty calories. A lot of times people look at the stat sheet, but don't look at the film. And the film will say dominance on D-Law sides of the ball. Because if you look at this, who won? Who won? <laughs> Who won against his, his guy? D-Law. And I'm not making this stuff. I'm not cherry picking the plays. And we're going to look at this other play right here. And on top of that, I showed you guys some good positive plays of uh, Carson Wentz. And we're going to see D-Law again lined up at the top of the screen. Yes, he's a left defensive end. And uh, he goes against number 65. Hmm. Let's see what happened on this play. Explode. Crash up field. Oh, remember this is the LOS. Where are they at on the field? I'll wait. <laughs> it's about being explosive, guys. It's much more than just sacks. At the end of the day, you want to be able to rush through your opposition and get the runner down or the quarterback down. And that's what D-Law is able to do, creating that pressure consistently, bringing and securing that edge of the field on that side. <laughs> and trust me. When you have a guy that can explode, crash your field. Now, any other quarterback, I would say this right here. Shout out to Carson Wentz. Remember on, on, at the start of this video, I said that he play, plays with great anticipation. He got a quick release, strong arm, stand tall in the pocket. Those are, uh, are, are uh, pretty much uh, qualities that you want in your quarterback. Trust me. And, and that's what he exhibits right here. He exudes that. But I would tell you right now, I would take this quarterback pressure. And on top of that, if we had any, if, if this guy right here was just a slight margins <laughs> better, he would have picked that ball off. Let's get hit play. Mm. Pressure in the face. Anthony Brown is right here. And huh. that's what I'm talking about, guys. Bat down, put down, make the quarterback pay. Pressure is everything. Pressure busts what pipes, and this is what he be. His, this is what D. Law is able to do. Create that pressure. Look, 
a lot of times they have a chip block. They put more than one person on his side of the field. They, they either have a tight end. Look, rewind the plays if you can. They either have a tight end or a running back on D-Law's side. Hey, to give him to, <laughs> get some of 65 needs some help, baby. <laughs> Motion, uh, number 19, D-Law is still on the far left side right here. Remember, he's the left edge rusher. And this is against the run. Of course, this is against the pass, I meant to say. And crash up field. Guess who makes this tackle, making adjustments? Hmm. That's straight hustle. That's motor. That's also being a major factor. So regardless of how you look at it, <laughs> give me this nine times out of ten. Sacks are great, but I would still want somebody to be disruptive. Being able to stop plays before they formulate. And that's what Tank Lawrence is able to do. And watch this edge rush again. <laughs> we can show you plays and plays again. Watch that get back. <laughs> Snap back. Secure that edge. Mm. Minimum gains, guys. Minimum gains. And that's a tackle that's recorded on the record book for, for Tank Lawrence. Huh disengage sailing off the edge guys when you run his way when you run on his side of the field things strange things happen uh, appreciate you all thank you guys for tuning in to the nation we're looking at the law law versus the philadelphia eagles and how he's able to be disruptive more so <laughs> than what people think and i know a lot of philadelphia eagles fans saying hey he have not recorded a sack let me know where the runner is at this is a crucial play for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, this was another play that D-Law was able to explode <laughs> and just take their money. <laughs> Let me take your lunch money from you. You're not getting nothing to eat today. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. Tackles for loss. Being able to be that disruptive factor. <sighs> Disengage. Boom. Almost decapitate. Look, <laughs> this <laughs> flag on the plate. <laughs> Let's rewind and watch this play again. <laughs> Get off and release. Oh my goodness. That boy, he turned that guy into a turf. Well, let me just look at this play again. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Motion. And fourth down. Did he get the fourth down? No. Turnovers on down. Who's that inside? Who's, the, who's that tackle goes to? <laughs> Boom disruptive that's stopping a key get a key down right there guys and uh let me see what else we have here really appreciate each and every last one of you all uh this is just showing you guys it's much more than just getting sacks tackles for loss negative gains uh zero yards gain off of this run disengage throw away number 72 whoever number 72 is he just says just made him his baby all that game and and it's just what the factors are uh i don't know who 72 is but boy <laughs> this is a great escape <laughs> this is a great escape by carson and this could have been a sack but remember pressure is everything pressure busts pipes look how he's running for his life now, a lot of people will say, okay, hey, if this was Dak Prescott, we already know that Cowboys fans would have been like, hey, hit this guy right here, Carson. Or, or better yet, hit this guy. Who are you throwing to? But when you have a tank, when you have a guy named D Law after you, them laws are after me. Them laws are after me. <laughs> he gets down, bust down on him, right? <laughs> bust down on him. Where he going with the ball, baby? <laughs> Remember, I like Carson Wentz's anticipation and throws and his delivery of the ball. But when you put that pressure on him, boy, this to me is just like a sack. <laughs> Give me that. Where are you going with the ball? Look, everybody, mama's uncle, cousin know where he should have went with that ball. Let's rewind. Hey, 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 hey. Carson, <laughs> when you're running for your life, when you see them wolves coming after you, we see them wolves coming out to you. Hey, wide open. This guy's going to be open. Uh, you, you can blast it to the flats right over here. Hmm. But man, when you got that wolf out to you, that 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 nasty tank out to you, 
It makes you think otherwise. <laughs> Rush through your throws. Yes, indeed. So, shout out to <laughs> shout out to you all, man, for for watching this video. And let's look at it from here. I know a lot of people say, "Well, he's seventy-two." Well, let's put Johnson back in here, and let's put the uh, quarterback that won a Super Bowl. I guarantee you, my bottom dollar. I know for sure. I know for sure that the New England Patriots wish they had a D law on their team. <laughs> during this Super Bowl run against the Philadelphia Eagles versus the New England Patriots because they couldn't get pressure like D-Law is able to do off of this play. Huh. And they got their boy back inside, right? Johnson, right? Huh. That could go both ways. You know, it could have been a fumble. They counted it as a pass. Watch how he's able to sweep inside. Give him a little bull rush. <clears throat> get off me. Disengage. <laughs> over pursuit 65 thinking he's going out to the outside that's, that's 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 how you play in the national football league give them multiple views no I, you think you're gonna edge rush no i'm gonna i'm going to uh scoot right back inside off of this play and make the quarterback pursue throw the ball quick <laughs> pressure bust the pipe cowboy nation Pressure, bust a pipe, get them again. Combo combinations, right? Combinations rule the nation. <laughs> nope, I'm not going. I'm not going back to the outside. Back into the inside. Cowboy Nation. In my mind, I I would say this: Philadelphia Eagles got a great, great system. They was able to make it to the Super Bowl with their uh, play designs, with their play calling, with quick and quick anticipation with the throws with the Nick Foles and also with the Carson Wentz and my thing is is that sometimes you fall in love with the stats but you fail to look at the film and the film will verify everything and uh, you can trust what people say but when you look at the film it speaks volumes it speaks volumes so Demarcus Lawrence has never had a sack against the Eagles and I just showed you guys clips and there was a plethora of more clips that I could have pulled up of where Demarcus Lawrence was a key factor in this whole entire game games that they played in whether it's stopping the run, creating pressure sealing off the edge, doing your responsibilities and duties hey, that's what counts more so than anything um, let me see how you guys feel about the phone lines I can open the phone lines up for a few few seconds here so that you guys can call in and give me your thoughts give me your opinions before we wrap up everything and like i said <laughs> i really appreciate each and every last one of you all for watching these films and just going over everything trusting what what we see with our our eyes opposed to what we hear <laughs> remember remember stats are like empty calories you want to be able you want to be able to to eat good food right <laughs> food that make you grow and once you learn you know better and you talk better and you don't go out there and start talking and bumping your gums talking about D-Law is trash and he can't get a sack against the filthy or Philadelphia Eagles however you want to call them the reality of it Cowboy Nation is this right here you got to be able and I'm going to say this again you got to be able to consistently create pressure consistently bring the heat and, and that's what D-Law is able to uh, put out there on film. And that's what we are able to see. So as we begin to set up this phone line, let me know how you guys feel about everything. Do you guys feel like sacks are just everything? Or do you feel like sacks are just another way, of, just another stat number? <laughs> we love them. But quarterback pressure, getting to the football is everything and more and more and more let me see if i can turn all these phone lines so that you guys can call in if you want all right the lines are now open and uh let me read some of your comments really appreciate each and every last one of you all for for being part of this thing uh as we begin to talk uh harvard appreciate you uh kelton speck appreciate you carson didn't get the ring though uh, he said Carson did get the ring yeah he got a ring <laughs> P 
pay Dak already. This is from Jay Ward. Yeah, yeah, you gotta pay him, I guess. Hazel Brook says he shakes Carson Wentz. Yeah, you know, you put him off his marker and you take away if you make when you make teams one dimensional. And when these bookends, as they call them now, uh, with D-Law and, and Robert Quinn, boy, when you make teams one-dimensional and they know you're going to pass the ball, man, look out. <laughs> Them boys said, just getting off of work. What up, bro? Hey, everything. Savage time. Don't worry about us. We got Dak. Yeah. Money make him all. D-Law is a D-line. Watch. Sean Lee on the defense. Okay, yeah. DC for life. Robert, appreciate you. All right. Deshaun, I'm back at home. Jackson. That dog bites people. <laughs> Better watch out. Them dogs, boy. We out here. <laughs> Law, great video. I always like that you're not biased. Yeah, so we we gotta look at everything, you know. I would be crazy to say, man, Carson Wentz is trash, and knowing that if Carson Wentz were uh, on the Cowboys, we would be trying to make another narrative, like, hey, he's the next great thing, greatest thing since sliced bread, right? But we look at everything. Uh, Carson Wentz, he can make the throw. He can make the. It, he got a great arm on him <laughs> for his uh, size, great size. Um, throws with anticipation, reads the defense pretty well. Um, got a great delivery of the ball. Balls normally spiral. Uh, but with that being said, um, he's injury prone. He was injured in middle school, high school, injured in uh, college. He's injured in the NFL. So those are his issues there. And will he become a better quarterback down the line? Yes. I, I still see room for growth for him. Uh, and if we look at Dak Prescott, what are the difference between Dak Prescott and Carson? Carson is a, is, is a natural thrower of the ball. He goes through his progressions a little bit better. But Dak, he got these intangibles, this leadership ability, and his ability, too, to just turn it on. It's like the it factor that you can't define. Uh, so both players are, are, are good in their respective uh, uh, positionings there. It's just that a lot of Philadelphia Eagles fans put Carson Wentz so high that they fail to realize to look at his flaws. <laughs> And that's a story of a different day. Um, who else? We have a miss scouting pro. Wentz also had a second rank deep. Oh, where is it? She said second rank. Oh, my bad. My bad, miss scouting pro. Uh, she says uh, Wentz also has a second ranked offensive line and has had the top tier line since 2016. Yeah. That offensive line stayed in tank. And their philosophies is a whole lot different. The, uh, the quarterback philosophy uh, coach and the uh, quarterback or uh, the offensive coordinator, whoever it is over there, uh, and, their, and their head coach. I mean, for crying out loud, uh, it's like a hybrid of a West Coast system. Get the ball out quick. Uh, slash, they use their little dump off passes as as uh, as their running passes too, so as their running plays. So, I mean, just a different philosophy of offense too. It's not like uh, the Dallas Cowboys offense. Two different systems. <laughs> um, let me see. And, and then on top of that, their Super Bowl run. One can argue that the uh, Philadelphia Eagles ran the ball more. And that would help them out tremendously. I think they was like third overall in rushing. Uh, so pounding, pounding ground. So it wasn't really like fly, Eagles, fly. It was like run, Eagles, run. That mental toughness is far beyond Wentz. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Nick Blue, money making mall. You said it. <laughs> Shout out to you. Um, who else we have here? The, the phone lines are open. If you would like to call in, that number is 682 214 4087. That's the phone number. All right, so I'm going to try to keep, keep this thing open for a little bit longer and read some, some more of your comments. I know it's getting I know it's getting late, but shout out to all the West Coast Cowboys out there. It's still early where you all are at. Little sweet. <laughs> shout out to you. Uh, Dak looks up to Wentz. Deshaun, I am back at home, Jackson. And trust me, there, there's no issues with that. There's no issues with that. <laughs> 
If Dak look up to Wentz, there's no problem with that. Uh, I can say this right here. Jim Kelly was a better thrower of the ball than, than, than Troy Aikman. <laughs> so, so was John Elway. But at the end of the day, the, the hardware is what count. And I know that Carson got one ring by being on the bench. But sometimes some people just have better skill sets and, and than others. But at the end of the day, it's all about the intangibles. Trust me, I would take Troy Aikman over Jim Kelly any day because of the intangibles, the leadership ability. And also, he's able to stay healthy, too. So, <laughs> But we look at everything from A to Z. A to Z. All right, who else we have here? Pay Zeke, Pay Amari, Pay Dak. This is from Hazel Brook. You talking about in that particular order, or are you saying... Um, uh, pay these guys and these <laughs> just pay them all you know no hometown discount for Dak uh, we looked that up earlier we looked up all of the uh, the Dak Prescott um, um, I guess what you would say is uh, market value opposed to Carson Wentz opposed to a, to a Russell and, and they pretty much in the they're pretty much a, a south of each other uh, but I would say that Dak's agent will be able to uh to push the envelope a little bit higher and say okay my client should at least get 28 to 29 million <laughs> opposed to the 23 um eric says uh long your voice sounds like it belongs on the radio <laughs> let them boys at 103 the fan hook you up with a job show them <laughs> how it's done okay okay hey I don't know. I don't want to quit my day job, though. <laughs> but I feel you. I appreciate you, man. I really do. Um, any other questionings out there? Uh, Jawad, is it Jawad says, fly Eagles, fly Super Bowl 52 champs. Wentz going to play till he's 40. Yeah. Unless they allow some, some type of new PEDs to go throughout the league. <laughs> Carson got to stay healthy. That's his issue. He can't stay healthy. And uh, and that's the problem. He can't stay healthy. He got to be able to stay healthy. And and that's what I want. I, I'm not the guy that wish injury upon the other players. I want teams to have their best lineups. And that's why I can't stand Roger Goodell. Because Roger Goodell is one of those guys who always like to push around and say okay well we're going to suspend this guy or we're going to look into this guy folder we're not going to look into this guy folder no i want mono e mono best player versus best player uh i want the best out there on the field and i don't want none of this oh he's going to sit out and this sort of thing because of his shoulder or or because he's not able to play because of his knee no i want i want the real deal holy field we want the, the best players out there <laughs> Yes, indeed. Um, Griffin says, have Dak throw 37 throws yet in one game? Mm, I think he did. Dak ball in college. Uh, yeah, d different coordinators too, different system. I think in college they ran like a spread offense. Uh, uh, what's this guy name? I forgot his coach name, but he coached the uh, – his name is at the tip of my tongue but he, he was one of those coaches that, that allowed Dak to run the rock too so his name at the tip of my tongue <laughs> he coached Alex Smith he coached uh, uh, Charlie Ward and he coached uh, who else this guy coached uh, Tim Tebow I forgot his name is the name at the tip of my tongue put down Dak Prescott coach for me <laughs> Jay the Great, what's good, man? Appreciate you for tuning in to the nation. All right, so pretty much so from here, that's all the time that we have for this beautiful day I re or beautiful night. I really appreciate each and every last one of you all for tuning in to the nation. Let me know of your thoughts. Let me know of your concerns of, uh, of I guess, Carson Wentz and D-Law. Can he create pressure? <laughs> Are sacks everything? Are they just some of the things? remember this hey we can trust the stats there's nothing wrong with that we need people to be out there to be snacks the, the stats munchers i call them the stats munchers 
but we also need people to verify with the film and film will show you otherwise it will show you the act the pressure it will show you uh what actually happened during the game opposed to just looking at the stats remember stats are like empty calories it's good tastes good man them chips was good you know <laughs> man but are they going to do anything for you long term you got to be able to look at the film cowboy nation and uh <laughs> And then study it and, and see with your own natural eyes what happened during the game. All right. So let's get ready to get on out of here. And let me get some rest. Shout out to those. Uh, is Miss Jackie in the house? Shout out to you. Man, we love Miss Jackie. And uh, Miss Guided Pro, we love you too. And all of you. you know, the, mod, the, the mods out here holding it down. That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> 